so no matter how old you get uh, or how long you've been doing it, um, it's still very, very special to see your name uh, and hear your name called. Um, you just cannot, absolutely cannot take making this tournament for granted. Um, question maybe why, you know, why a nine seed? Um, you know, a couple things. First of all, if you look at the body of work, um, our analytics were 32 in the net, which kind of puts you in the eight line. Um, and then all of our metrics were that or below. Um, and then might ask, well, why is that? When we, um, you know, had as many losses as we did, um, we played six non-conference teams that were in the field. That's the most that Auburn's ever played. Um, and so that's by choice. So by beating Colgate and Texas Southern and Northwestern and playing Memphis and USC and West Virginia, um, we helped ourselves. Um, and then we played 13 NCAA tournament teams. Um, the most Auburn's ever played was 10. So it was uh, a very tough schedule, which I think is, uh, is very, very important. I think the other thing in addition to that was the fact that even in our losses, particularly at Tennessee or at Texas A&M or at Alabama, we were extremely competitive. And now with the new metrics, you do get rewarded for how you play not just whether you win. Um, and so, um, you know, I'm very proud of the team for, for making the tournament, putting ourselves in, in this uh, position. Um, this team, including our summer trip to Israel, logged 31,000 miles uh, of travel. Uh, last year's team, for example, only logged 11,000 miles of travel. Um, I think it's been a long year from that standpoint. The trip to Israel, the trip um, out to the West Coast, the trip to Cancun, the 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 trip to West Virginia. That you know we you know it's just there was a lot of travel, um, and I, I do think some level of fatigue, um, particularly as it related to how how you know the tough places that we went to on the road and the competitive games and these guys continue to get up off the mat. And and uh, and try to win. So very pleased with getting in. Now our first opponent in Iowa. Uh, I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't start a press conference talking about how special it was for me to be at Iowa as an assistant for six years. Um, the Hawkeye State is something special. I think people in Alabama, um, here in the South, would share a lot of things with the people in Iowa in the Midwest. Uh, two great states full of great people and uh, really important time for me as an assistant coach under Dr. Tom Davis. Um, and um, I still have some great, great friends there. Um, Matt Gatons, who played for the Hawks, whose dad um, Mike Gaines was one of my best friends in Iowa City who also played for the Hawks under Lute Olson. Um, was on our staff. So I've already texted Matt and told him I've changed all the play calls and I've changed all my signals and <laughs> we're not running that anymore and, and stuff like that. Um, Matt works for a great head coach in Fran McCaffrey. Um, a, a veteran that's been there and done that, one of the most competitive, hardworking um Great family man, great father, great teacher um, as head coach and a brilliant offensive tactician. Um, Iowa as a team is um, will be one of the best offensive teams we've played. Number three in offensive uh, efficiency. Um, they, um, I mean, number three. They play at the 30 fast, 31st fastest tempo. Um, they uh, make eight threes a game. Uh, they're number eight in the country at taking care of the ball. As far as their assist turn ratio, they just don't turn it over. They get a shot up before they turn it over. Um, 30th in the nation in assists per field goal. And they're a great offensive rebounding, a great offensive rebounding team. Defensively, they're, they're, um, they do a lot of different things. They're multiple in, in how they defend. So just a lot of things, um, obviously, to prepare for. 
Um, they got a great player, several great players, but one of my, and I, and I can't talk, I'll, I'm going to do one tomorrow uh, f before the players, just so I'll have a little bit more information on their team. But obviously Chris Murray is a great player. Um, and uh, I recruited his dad, Kenyon Murray, to Iowa. And Kenyon Murray had a great career at Iowa. So there's a lot of, uh, lot of meat there. Um, fourth time, I guess, in five years for us to make the tournament, which I think is a significant. Um, I've always believed in life. It's easier to get it going than it is to keep it going. Um, and um, and so I'm, I'm glad we have this uh, this opportunity. Um, and then finally, to be able to be in Birmingham, um, this uh, uh, for our fans and for our students. Um, and I think it's I think it's just awesome. And um, so hopefully we'll get we'll get great support and uh, see if we can have. A shiny moment or two. First, let me just mention that you guys have caught some bad breaks in games this season, but they have to catch a good break with, with having a game just a couple of hours, a couple of hours down the road. I guess, what was your reaction when you saw that it was Birmingham outside of the players? Or well, you know, we knew that we were going to be somewhere, I felt somewhere between eight and ten you're right eight nine or ten we're either going to be in the eight nine or ten game that's kind of where we thought we would be that's what the analytics said we would be um so we knew that birmingham was a eight nine site uh, and we also knew that alabama would be there as the one but because of the pods and tr and the NCAA trying to trying to keep teams more regional um we had a chance uh to maybe be be there um, I think my guess is Alabama's probably going to be the night, the night game and we're going to be the day game. And, and uh, you know, I think the NCAA, obviously, we got a new building, a big building in Birmingham to fill. And uh, they got a better chance now to fill it uh, with both Alabama and Auburn being in Birmingham together. Okay. Well, that kind of leads to what I was going to ask. Um, obviously, you guys won't match up against each other, but what significance is that for basketball in the state to have both teams playing in Birmingham. Yeah, I think it's very significant. You know, congratulations to Alabama being a great champion. Um, they were the best team in our league, uh, and they very well may be the best, the best team in the country. Um, and so I know that, uh, you know, uh, both basketball programs have worked really hard at trying to get competitive. Um, and I think, uh, you know, there's been a lot talked about the fact that both Auburn and Alabama have done, uh, have become very competitive and winning championships. And um, so it, it does mean a great deal to the state. And then right there, you know, you had, you had UAB that played um, in their championship game uh, and could have been in the field. You had Samford win their regular season. Um, you had... Uh, uh, I think Huntsville had a great year. North Alabama had a really good year. Troy had a good year. South Alabama was in the championship game of their um, tournament. You know, I don't mean to leave anybody out, but I mean, there, were, there was a lot of really good basketball played in the state of Alabama this year. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, what was the players' initial reaction when they found out they're going to Birmingham and playing Iowa? Well, I think just like when you see your name, and I'm sure Stephen will put that out on social media. We just had a little gathering in the locker room. They were, you know, they were excited about hearing their name called, and uh, they don't know much about Iowa. They, I, I told them a little bit about Iowa just right off the bat. It was one of the best offensive teams in the country, and um, there have been times this year where we've been good defensively, but there have been times where we haven't. So we're gonna we're gonna have to find a way to guard them, but they were very excited. I know it's early, and you said you dig in Iowa more later. Is there any team that you guys have played that reminds you of Iowa, or are they just kind of very different from the way they play offense? Just haven't. I haven't looked at them yet to answer that. I'll know more tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sort of address this, but having, uh, being in Birmingham, having Alabama and Houston, the top two overall all seeds there, it's going to be, you're expecting a really great atmosphere just around the city and everything. Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, getting the, the facility, I haven't been in the facility since they've renovated it, but, you know, we played 
up at Legacy. Um, we played, um, you know, UAB there. Um, we played uh, St. Louis. St. Louis there. Um, we played Middle Tennessee there. And so part of it was to try to, as we were trying to, you know, uh, develop our program and, and take Auburn basketball around the state. That was part of our thinking. And so, again, I'm happy for our, our alumni, our, our students, our fan base to have an opportunity to go and, and, and watch some incredible basketball um, and know that your team is your team is one of 68 playing for a national championship. Um, Bruce, do you, do you think the, the SEC is fairly represented with the bracket? Teams yeah, getting eight in is unbelievable. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, that's what we try to get. I mean, that's more than the upper half. And Vandy what was probably one of the teams, one of the last teams that didn't make it. Um, and, you know, uh, Coach Stackhouse did an incredible job. Um, and um, they played great at the end. Um, you know, the body of work is, uh, they talk about the body of work, it's important to, from start to finish. You know, part of, you know, part of going to Israel and having all those practice, I think, helped us play pretty well early. Mm -hmm. um, but it wore us out a little bit. Um, but, um, um, I, you know, I think that uh, clearly the league is extremely well represented. And, um, you know, I think the there's an adage about there's no great teams. You know, Alabama looks like a great team. You know, Houston looks like a great team, the number one seeds. You know, Texas, Kansas. The, I think the guys in the one-two line are probably all thinking that, you know, those are going to be your favorites. But, you know, there are some teams all over this bracket that are capable of making a run because uh, – um, so, therefore, we have a lot of teams in the, in the, in the SEC that, that, could, that can advance. Rich, you said at the beginning the, the number of non-conference teams up for the Penn tournament. But just how how important was that to, for y'all to not only get in but but get in rather safely, not even get at all? Well, I just think I think you know give credit to Mike Burgermaster who does our schedule, and uh, we have we have always tried to play a tough schedule. And look, nobody wants to play your Texas Southerns and your Colgates because they're good enough to beat you, and and uh, many of the other teams that we play. Who, who wants to play St. Louis? Uh, just so you know, just meanwhile, St. Louis got to the final four of their tournament. Um, and so again, um, not being a very Bradley played the championship game of their tournament. Northwestern finished second in the Big Ten. Um, and so while it's you know kind of easy to criticize this team for losing as many games as we lost, one of the other things that was a big factor was we were 19 and three against teams we were favored against. And that means, you know, I can, you know, I can only ask the kids to do what they're capable of doing. And then can they reach up and raise the bar a little bit? And, um, and, and I think they, we, we demonstrated we could not, not often enough, you know, to, to be uh, having been able to compete for the regular season championship, but, so we're prepared. Last question, Andy. How much does it help for most of these guys that they kind of know what the routine is like now for the NCAA tournament? They were there a year ago and they kind of have an idea of what, what it was going to be like. Um, I, I think there's, there's, uh, you know, they say, they say that's an advantage, you know, you know, um, Having been there, you know, I, I know that I know for me losing uh, on Thursday, um, watching the games on Friday over the weekend, that wasn't any fun. And so, um, you know, certainly, look, we lost to a good team in Arkansas. Um, and Arkansas could make a run here like they did last year. Um, you know, so it wasn't like we stubbed our toe, but we didn't take advantage of the opportunity. And it, 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 it didn't feel very good. So got an opportunity here, you know. Um, you know, the road to the Final Four is very difficult, very challenging, but um, I think they're excited about playing. I think they're still excited about coming to practice tomorrow. Um, 
We had a good workout yesterday, a hard workout. And then today we gave them off and we'll get after, we'll get after it the next two days, probably leave, probably go to class the next two days, Monday, Tuesday, and then leave um, Tuesday after practice and head up to Birmingham. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.